Welcome to Thursday. It is the 27th day of November 2025. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This weather update brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. An experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. Well, happy Thanksgiving, especially for those of you who are traveling as a lot of you will probably recognize the photo that I couldn't help but throw up here this morning, especially with all the weather headed towards the Midwest this Thanksgiving holiday period. We're now awaiting the next system. So we're gonna see a little bit of high country snow shower activity, but generally speaking, in the Intermountain West and the Western High Plains, there's not a lot to talk about either today or really for a good part of Friday. Now the exception will be for you folks in Montana, as the weather really goes south on Friday up there with the next Pacific wave coming in with that Canadian air coming in as well. If you're traveling Friday, the weather is going to basically deteriorate as the day wears on as the weather comes from the north to the south. This is not going to be a huge snow event, but it's going to make things icy. We'll be very cold. Another system is going to come off the Pacific and will spread some light snow, this time further south. Again, it's not gonna be anything rocking the boat in terms of a big snow event, but enough that roads and highways in some parts of the West, as we get into Sunday, will be a little bit slick in some areas, especially the higher mountain areas in the mountain passes of Colorado, parts of Southern Wyoming and into Utah with that system. Then we have another system coming in from the Northwest as we get into Tuesday night and Wednesday. And all of these systems are quite similar they're not coming in with a lot of moisture, but they'll reinforce shots of Canadian air, keeping our temperatures consistently colder. And one thing about this pattern that's coming, while it may not produce a lot of snow on the plains, it'll produce enough to make things slick at times, it'll be quite good to get that mountain snow going and a little bit more consistently and better. Beautiful sunrise shot yesterday in the Casper area. Nice shot of the moon as well. And another photo in the Douglas area, those Kelvin Hemholtz cloud wave clouds that developed here earlier this week. As we take a look at the uh, Leadville area, again, those clouds going on a little bit of fresh snow. As Pacific moisture did yesterday, produce some high elevation snow in many areas and did close the snowing range pass for the remainder of the season. So here we have on the solid imagery, very easy to see the next low here off the coast of Oregon and Washington. Cold air behind that first system that brought blizzard conditions in North Dakota and the upper Midwest and making for some really nasty lake effect snows in the Great Lakes as we showed you yesterday. But you can see a large part of the West here. There's really just not much happening until this system here heads south and pulls the colder Canadian air, which you can see here in the blue that's poised to come south, which it will as we get into late tomorrow and into the upcoming weekend. So a 500 millibar chart shows the pattern very well where the storm is in the Great Lakes, this next wave coming on in, the high pressure building up here, allowing the flow now to come more in from the Northwest. But it'll be today and into early tomorrow before this system really starts to make its move. And by Saturday morning, we see the next wave come from the Pacific coast this is going to drag in the Canadian air and make temperatures much colder. This wave comes in behind it, and this is what's going to swing through here and then go this way as we go into Sunday and Monday, producing some wintry weather. So when we take a look at what's going to transpire with this first wave, this is the total precipitation basically from tonight through around noon Saturday. So you can see Montana, Washington, Oregon, across the Dakotas, across northern Wyoming, into parts of Nebraska here, then the higher elevations of the mountains of Colorado and southern Wyoming, and a little bit of snow along the I-80 corridor and I-25 will be taking place. Again, this is nothing to write home about, but when you have Arctic air coming on in, the snow water ratio is much higher. So what doesn't look like a lot of moisture could turn into an inch or two, three inches of snow, across the lower elevations with heavier amounts in the mountains. So this is what we're gonna basically see from Thursday night through the day Saturday. So this is round one. 
So where you see the blue, where you see the purple especially, you can expect icy roads and highways. This is going to be especially true along Interstate 90, parts of 80, parts of 25, and then of course the higher elevations of 70 here into Colorado. So that basically gets us through Saturday, and that cold air pours in. Saturday is going to be a very chilly day. If you're headed towards a Christmas parade Saturday evening, these are your air temperatures right around 5 p.m. So it's going to be cold, even some sub-zero temperatures up here in Montana and parts of Alberta and into Saskatchewan. So the cold air pours on in, and that's what we're going to see with this first wave. The second wave is the next one coming in right behind it. Northerly flow keeps temperatures chilly as we get on into Sunday and Monday. This system comes in and it will have some moisture with it. Not a lot though. Nonetheless, it is going to produce another patch of snow as it heads southeast. This is basically Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. So you can see the mountains of Colorado will do well. I-80 in Utah and southwestern Wyoming, just enough snow to muck things up a little bit for travelers. So that Sunday time frame can have a little bit of winter weather to deal with as well. This is going to be snow out here across I-70 into Kansas Sunday. So traveling Sunday, while it's not a big system, will be a bit of a nuisance and you need to plan for it. And that's what the snow looks like. Putting together Friday system into Saturday morning, then Sunday system into Monday morning. Cumulatively, you put those two systems together. That's where the snow is likely going to fall the most. And as we showed you yesterday, the Midwest, Iowa, northern central Illinois into the Great Lakes with the lake effect snows. You know, this is where you're going to have the biggest travel hookups for any flights going through these areas. Notice the major metropolitan areas along the east coast and the gulf coast and the west coast shouldn't have any real significant weather, although there will be rain and thunderstorms down here. I'm just showing you the snowfall, but there will be precipitation and a few thunderstorms that will be in that area to deal with as well traveling. Then we go into next week. Remarkable how this looks the same. This is for next Wednesday morning. Notice the pattern is essentially the same. We have these little ripples coming off the Pacific, then they come down, they overrun the cold air, and you get a little bit of snowfall. And the very cold air sitting over South Central Canada leaking into the northern half of the United States, making the northern tier very, very cold. So as these waves come through, that just keeps mountain snow chances going with generally light amounts of snow across the plains. So this is by Wednesday and this is by Friday, and we're still in a north northwest flow aloft that will keep temperatures chilly. The real brutal cold is going to be more up into here, but nonetheless, this is a much different animal weather wise than we've seen over the last four to five weeks and north to northwest flow is exactly what skiers and snowmobilers want to see because this type of pattern feeds Pacific air into the mountain ranges and that is just a good pattern to keep snow chances going in the high country off and on over the next seven to ten days and there you can see it this is the 72 hour precipitation basically from Wednesday through Friday morning so again you know, we don't see anything that's lights out heavy but a consistent pattern of more mountain snowfall lighter snowfall amounts across the lower elevation some moisture even getting into the southwestern United States with he heavier elevation snowfall. So this is the next event that's going to come really starting Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday and into Thursday morning. Then probably some more mountain snow will come the weekend after this one as well. So finally, that'll be good to get the snowpacks going, which are suffering. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Don't forget our regional travel forecast updated at three o'clock mountain time. Monday through Fridays, and if we need update on the weekends, we will. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving travel period. We'll see you tomorrow.